Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a drop, a drag and drop activity in Seesaw. Basically an activity with movable parts. And I know you're wondering, why am I starting in this with this screen of something in Google Slides? Well, what I did was in Google Slides, I created um, the et word families. So I have like a vet, I have I downloaded the pictures to go with these et words. And I want my kids to fill in and move the correct letter into these boxes right here. So it says drag and drop into the correct box. And you'll notice, yes, the box is empty. That part, the movable part, is the part that I'm going to actually create in Seesaw. Okay, But this part right here, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it as one piece. And it's going to become the background for my Seesaw worksheet. So how I download this into Seesaw is I go to File, Download, save it as a PNG, a JPEG or a PNG, doesn't matter either one. Okay, so my downloads right here. I'm going to shrink this now and get into Seesaw. Okay, so once I'm in Seesaw, this is my Seesaw um, teachers page. Click Add, Assign Activity, and you would normally create a new activity. Okay, I kind of already got it, got this started already, just to be quicker. So my activity is right here. Okay, so this is my activity activity for et words, and I am going to edit this activity. Okay, so I already put in my title et words. I put in my instructions. I want my kids to click add to begin. Use the move to drag the letters to the correct box. I want them to practice reading it, and when they're ready, I actually want them to click the mic so they can record themselves and I can listen to them. And then when they're done, they're gonna click check to submit their work. Okay, right now I'm gonna go down to the add template for student responses. Click that, click upload. Okay, I'm gonna shrink my screen a bit. Okay, so at first that page with the et word family is right here, right? Remember I said I downloaded it into PNG. I'm gonna grab that and put it in my Seesaw file. Click check, okay. and there you go. Now I have it in Seesaw. Okay. Now, the part in Seesaw that I have to create, like I said, is I need to create the actual letters that my kids are going to drag into these boxes. So I'm going to give myself a text box. Um, let's see, the first one is VET, so V. And I want to make sure this V is kind of going to fit in there pretty nicely. So don't worry about the outline of this box. I just I'm just sizing my letters, my letter, to make sure it looks good if when the kids place it in. Okay, I think that fits pretty good. So I know that that's what I want. I said don't worry about the outline of this box because I'm going to actually delete that outline. So I'm going to go to three dots. I'm going to go to style. In style, I'm going to select this first one that has no outline. And then you'll see, notice the outline went away. Then I'm going to grab that box and I'm going to repeat it. I have six words, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I want six letters. I know I don't all want the letter V, but this is just so that it makes it easier. I don't have to keep editing the same, um, the letters over and over again. I'm going to come here and I could either do this, which is duplicate and it'll give me another one. And then I just pull it and kind of, um, to where I want it. Or what I can do is I can take this and just put command, push command D and they'll duplicate it. So I want three more. So I just push command D. Okay. So I want three more of the exact same letter and just place them. So just grab them and place them where you want it. And then I want to go in and now I'm actually going to um, get rid of the V because I don't need that many V's. Okay, here's the word set, ready, set, go. So set, go to the next one. I have jet, oops, jet. Um, next one is wet. I need pet and then net. Okay, here you go. Okay, now once I have that, um, my students, they can actually come and drag the letters into the correct box. Okay, so that's the activity I do want. So that part, yes, I have to create in Seesaw itself. So once I've got that and I like it, say if you want it colored, you could have it colored, you can have it any way you want. 
Okay. But I'm just keeping it simple. I'm going to click check. So it's uploading. And then I can see down in my templates, it's right there. I'm going to say save. Okay. Now, just to double check, I'm going to go back into my library to make sure it's there. Okay, my activity is right there. Oops. And you'll notice at first when I had typed in my um, instructions, I had used some seesaw shortcuts. And like I used um, colon, add, colon. And that gave me this icon right here that you can see that's add response. And then like col colon, move, colon, it gave me this icon. So these are shortcuts that you can find. You can just Google online, um, seesaw shortcuts. And then you, what I did was I just grabbed a page from there and I downloaded it onto my computer so I could always remember what the shortcuts were. Okay. Um, if you like to see a video on how to create the Google slide that I used, um, let me know. So if you like to see a video on how I, how I created this, let me know um, in the comments, leave me a comment. And then I hope this tutorial really helps you when you're making your own drag and drop activity. Thanks for watching.